Hi, and welcome back to this third video um, on running experiments online with OS Web. So in the previous video, we sh I demonstrated how you can actually export your experiment from Open Sesame, import it into YATOS, and then create links that you can distribute uh, to your participants. And now we're at the stage, right? We've collected a whole bunch of data. And now how are you going to get the data out of YATOS and into your spreadsheet, right? That's essentially what we want to do. So now I'm logged in actually to my own YATOS server, yatos.coxi.nl. Um, as I mentioned before, you need access to your own YATL server. There is not like a, a public YATL server that you can use. Your institute needs to provide one for you or you need to set up one yourself. And I set up one, or actually my colleague Daniel Schrei set up one at yatos.coxi.nl. That's what I'm using. And then I have a whole bunch of experiments here on the left side. And let's just click on one that has a bunch of data collected. Tilt adaptation after. Okay, I click on that and then you see results. In the results you see 198. What does it mean? It means that there are essentially results from 198, uh, uh, 98 sessions, experimental sessions. That does not mean that all these results are full or complete or anything like that. Not at all. Actually, you will often find, especially if you, if you collect data in a very unrestricted way, that many of your result sets will be kind of empty and it will be kind of fragmented, etc. That is a, that is, that is, not necessarily if you, if, you, if you really instruct your participants very carefully, then maybe you will get a very uh, nicely balanced result set. But in my experience, quite often actually the results are a bit fragmented with a lot of partial data sets. And that's the case here as well. This is actually data that I collected as part of a course, Introduction to Psychology, where participants were, where the students were free to participate in the experiment. And then I showed the results by way of, uh, by way of explanation uh, during, the, during the lecture. Okay. So every row here is one result set. Um, you have a time, etc., etc. right? Kind of a description of the batch. I explained the concept of a batch in the previous video. Worker type, you see that I used the general multiple worker, so without any restrictions, and a state. And then you see some have failed, right? Participants have canceled it. Some had data retrieved, so some data came in, but it was not entirely finished. And some experiments actually had a finished state. These states are a little bit finicky, it, it's not entirely clear to me why YATL sometimes has certain states and sometimes others, but having a finished state means that you have a lot of data. Okay, um, so, and then the way to do it is simply export all the results. So I say export results, all results, and I save them in my, uh, up, in my downloads. Here at below you see that in the downloads I get a YATL's results and then with the date. I can also open it, then you can see what it looks like. Um, and what does it look like? It looks like some kind of semi-broken uh, JSON file. This is, you don't want to work with this kind of, this is what you download from YATLs, but you generally don't want to work with this because it is very clunky. You have to do some, you know, parsing and, and processing before you can actually use it. And you don't have to because Open Sesame will do that for you. So I'll close, close this and I will switch to Open Sesame. I'll make it full screen. And then in Open Sesame, I will go to Tools, OS Web, um, and then you will see convert YATOS results to CSV as XLSX. I will click on that and it will go to my download folder and there's the YATOS result file. I will open it, then it will ask me um, uh, what, uh, well, how to save it. You can choose to save it as an Excel file or a CSV file, why not Excel? And then I say, okay, tilt adaptation demo dot XLSX, save, and then it will save that. Sometimes it will take a little while. It depends on how big the data set is. The conversion process can be a little bit slow, uh, but it's definitely much faster than doing this uh, manually yourself. Okay, so, and then that happened, right? And then just to show you that this actually works, I go to downloads. Now we have a tilt adaptation demo XLSX. I'm showing all of this on Ubuntu, but the pro process will be exactly the same if you do it on Windows or, uh, or Mac OS. And I will open this up, tilt adaptation demo XLSX. And it will open in LibreOffice. Let's give it a moment. There we go. Up. Uh, all right. And there you see actually that we have, uh, you also see that it's not perfect. You see here, there are some things, some kind of garbage data that you will have to uh, strip out. But by and large, what we see is that we have a regular data file that has uh, responses, response times, etc. basically in the format that you're, that you're used to. All right. And then you can take this, you can open it in JASP, you can open it in R, etc., etc., and then you can use it for further processing. And then basically you're done, right? You have conducted your online experiment. 
All right, well, I hope that these videos have helped to get you started. Read the documentation, ask questions on the forum if you're, uh, if you're uncertain how everything works. And uh, have fun uh, conducting online experiments. Thank you very much for your attention.